Oh no, the D1NO plague has risen. The plague that was thought to be extinct millions of years ago emerges once again, but this time it's mutated to bring back some dinosaurs from extinction. With a new unknown pathogen, how will humanity react to this new plague? Pathogen has infected a group of paleontologists from a piece of amber. Ah, uh, a little cough can't mean anything terrible, right? I feel like this is gonna go very bad for humanity because I am in control. Now, where do we want to start this plague off? Kinda like the idea of like Japan. I don't know why, but it seems like a good place to start a plague about dinosaurs. The dino pathogen has been identified. Saurian flu is a prehistoric pathogen that's been released from amber. We knew that, thank you, game. Cool, we're getting a few. Oh, the airplanes are already coming in. Very nice of them. We speed up time just a little bit. Let this disease give me some DNA points. Spread across Northern Japan. Oh, we made it to Central. And now we have a solid 10 DNA. Let's see what we can spend this on. Now, one thing we don't wanna do is start giving it some symptoms because we don't want the severity or lethality to rise. And I do wanna see what we have here. So Japan is a rich country and an urban country. It's not cold or hot. So if we're gonna best try to use, uh, give it some desist resistances. Yeah, see, this is a wealthy country. So giving it some drug resistance, it's probably not gonna do anything for the infection. So transmission time, ooh, that could work. Human environments, nope. Lizards and fish, nope. Wealthy and urban environments, this sounds great. Can I do level two? No, that costs eight DNA. So let's go back, give me some more DNA, Japan. All I need is one more, then we're gonna expand. Nice. Ooh, the infectivity is rising very quickly. Look at those little bubbles pussulating. And a dinosaur skull in amber is found. Hmm. It's believed to have been 100 million years old. Okay, the species is still being identified. Actually, this is, thinking about it, this is actually kind of terrifying. What happens if there is like a hidden pathogen hiding somewhere inside of it? Interview on the Digsai team found the dinosaur skull in amber. They reported mild coughing after discovery. They were near lizards when they started feeling ill. Okay, so that means I can start getting this one going. Lizards, bats, and fish. Excellent, thank you for that Q game. There's eight more DNA. There's only 48 people infected here in Japan too, 53. Starting to grow a little bit faster. I really just wanna get this one going because that's expensive, but that infectivity is huge. So let's wait, oh, we got 13 already, perfect. Evolve that. And now if I go this way, we might be able to connect the two and have some sort of weird mutation there. Potential cure for cancer found, okay, that's fine. Uh-oh. It's mutated and developed a headache system without using DNA points. I could go in here and sell that symptom. Oh, I can't even devolve it. Oh, maybe I can. Nah. Let's not do that. We're gonna let the headache run because people are already sneezing. They probably don't understand that it's some sort of dinosaur few. Ooh, mild coughed after injection. Interesting. This cure for cancer. We have nine. Oh, there's the 11. All right, so let's get the transmission to get this one now. Wildlife level two. We're at 3,000 people. It's climbing really fast. A slight sickness is going around. Perfectly healthy. Might just be a cold. Yep, 10,000. My goodness, that infectivity is going fast. Wow. Okay, cold country is getting colder. So maybe we should get the infectivity for cold countries. Why is I'm not getting any more DNA points? <coughs> 600, 800, 900,000? Oh no, it's only in Japan too. Okay, it's gonna spread pretty soon off of the island, I bet. Two million? Oh man, give me some more points. We have six. Question is, do I get anything else? I mean, that infectivity is super big. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna probably go for one of these next. Maybe, I don't know, whatever eight comes up. Come on, give me eight. I need eight. It's gotta spread to the world soon. Oh my word, Japan is almost entirely infected. There's seven. Would you spread on a plane, you dingus? Uh-oh. Genetic instability. Oh no. That means it has more chance of mutating in the future. Life finds a way, I guess. There we go. Okay, we have 10 now. I'm very concerned that I'm not gonna be able to transfer it. Okay, we're gonna go cold resistance. Maybe that'll spread it to the cold countries. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. China's not a cold country, but that's a good way to start the spread. And it is rural, if I remember right. No, it's not. So all those animals. Oh, there we go. Philippines? Or oh, that's Indonesia. Philippines are here. I'm not the best in my Southeast Asia geometry, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's gonna be Germany getting infected. Nice. All right, now that we have eight, let's go ahead. Oh, I wanna get this one. It's cost 11. Whoops. Uh-oh. 
Sneezing symptom. Why are we getting so many symptoms? I guess probably because there's a hundred million Japanese people that are infected with this thing. And it's starting to spread a little bit more. And they've recognized it now. A minor checkup. Yeah, because it's literally every single person in Japan. And there we go. South Africa. Come on. Nice. We have 12 now. Let's change it to... I don't know which one to do. Maybe the heat resistance? Because we are in some hot countries now. Like... South Africa. Mysterious symptoms from cure. Uh-oh. Confused what this caused it. I don't even know what that meant. Ooh, India. India's got a lot of people. Nice. Russia does too. Oh my goodness. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at how fast China is blowing up from this thing. Bling. All right. Let's get some more infectivity here. What is this? Environmental hardening? That's 22 DNA. And what is this? Why is that black? Dino intelligence. Dinosaurs genetically created by dino have a mind of their own. Rise back and take out the world. Unlocks air and water transport. We need that. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Archaeopteryx? Wait, what? We're going to start evolving birds? Rise of the planet of the dinos. Genetically created dinosaurs are now sentient. <laughs> Yay, we get to de-evolve dinosaurs and destroy humanity with it. Kind of feel bad for him. Just kidding, I don't. But look at China just getting infected like crazy. Every single Chinese person is now infected and Japanese and now Mexico and Australia. Great. All right, time to use some of these other things. And I want air transportation and water transportation. And I also want the Archaeopteryx. I'm totally mispronouncing that, but I'm hoping we can evolve other things. Velociraptors? <laughs> dinosaurs are roaming around. People are posting videos and pictures on the internet claiming dinosaurs are real and wandering around. <laughs> are they just another internet hoax? Never. People on the internet would never make things up about like aliens or stuff. There we go. Oh yes, this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Tons and tons of DNA. We're bringing the dinos back from extinction, my dudes. 47 now. Hello, Velociraptors. <laughs> it also turns up the lethality, <laughs> which is kind of strange. What is this one? Utah Raptor. Okay, that's a big chonkin' dino. The Kryl... Camouflage? <laughs> Less likely to be noticed by humans. I don't even know what that does, but I need it. Actually, you know what? I wanted these because I really wanted to see what this did. Extreme Zoonosis. That was my nickname in high school. Dinosaurs come back from extinction. <laughs> the militaries are getting involved. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh-oh. Genetic instability. Through. Would you stop being genetically instable? It's not like we're just raising dinosaurs from the dead. Dinosaurs are, or soldiers are taking action. Drone attacks might be an option to help out. Don't worry. There is no help for you, humans. But we just got Greenland, so that's always OW. And Iceland. And now we're getting fevers. Oh, that's a huge spread over there. Oh, we have 60 points. Pause. 10 seconds. We need this, whatever it is. Cool. Infectious dinosaurs, now the ability to spread the pathogen. My goodness, look at that infectivity rate. <laughs> We're super infectivity now. That didn't even make sense. Those words didn't even work right. Sorry, infused mutated epiphsaxis. That's a big word too. And pretty soon every single country, your prehistoric plague outbreak on alert. <laughs> Whoops. Your genes are complex. Research is a top priority. Oh, balls. Well, you know what else that means? Uh, that it's always creepy when that little girl starts singing that. Yeah, it is. Oh no, they're starting to capture the dinosaurs. That's too bad. We're gonna have them uh, do a little bit of containment breach. All right, and let's get human attack in colder regions. What was that one? Oh, yeah, the cryo. And then the Carnotosaurus? That's the big guy, isn't it? And then we have, th that's a word I can't pronounce. T-Rex, yes! <laughs> T-Rexes are wandering around the world. We have devolved them. Uh-oh, the dinosaurs are infected with them. Huh. I mean, like, hold on. Just, if you were a researcher, right? And you're like, you know those paleontologists in Japan? They, they had a cold. But now they're like, oh, we didn't realize that dinosaurs are coming back. Like, the, the... Humans here are super dumb, and they deserve to be extinct. That's what I'm getting at. Joint pain. Oh. <laughs> also called being over 30 years old. An elite task force being sent out. Yeah, that's not going to help you at all, fellas. We have almost every single person in the world dead, and four or five million people have been eaten by dinos. 
Hema says he that sounds like some sort of blood disease. I actually have to read that because I'm curious. Uh, coughing up blood. Yeah, that's nasty. Don't like. Do not like. All right, we need to see in the world who is left. Only Morocco is left. Morocco, you're the only hope for humanity. Actually, isn't that where like a lot of dinosaur bones are actually found? If I remember right. Also, all of these countries need some sort of infectivity. Let's get that transmission going for... Let's see, blood content, poor regions. Yeah, we can involve that one. And humid, I don't think those are humid regions. They are classified as poor. Sorry, ends up being scorched. No, don't start them on fire. Dinosaurs haven't done anything wrong. Photophobia, you're scared of light now? Also, why isn't Canada being polluted? And there's still people, oh yeah, there's Morocco. Okay, good. So we have now infected every country on earth. And some ding dongs still have they still have ports open. Like, I watched that movie where the dinosaurs came in a port. I watched that. You closed the ports down the first thing. Oh, populated dinosaur area is being bombed. What? No, don't do that. What did ever... Pulmonary hemorrhage. Yikes. Okay, so it's becoming super lethal. The dinosaurs are coming back from extinction. Almost the entire world is now infected. The drones are being deployed in several countries. Uh-oh, cure research has been increased. That's okay, we're gonna crank up the infectivity here in a second. I need to know where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Oh, it's it's literally only Morocco? I need to know this level. <laughs> okay, the disease points. Is it only Morocco that has uninfected people left? I think it, it was, it used to be. All of a sudden it just, everyone's infected now. Okay, cool. So, we get to have some fun. Let's bring back the rest of the dinosaurs. We get the Spino. Oh my goodness. The Quetzal, that's a flying bird. Kills humans by picking them up and flying high, dropping them or pecking out their organs. <laughs> Titano, <laughs> the Titanoboa. Aw, oh, what about these? I want these. Zombified dinosaurs, that just gets weird. That's just, just awkward. We don't want that. We can make them, oh yeah. More work to develop a cure, perfect. More work to develop a cure. Perfect. All right, go dinosaurs. Becomes a global threat. You think every single billions of people. Oh, hypoxia, gross. Every single person in the world is infected. The dinosaurs can camouflage. <laughs> the attack here, wait, they attack the cure labs in Kazakhstan? Wow, nicely done. <laughs> The dinosaurs are now smarter than humans. The drones are seeking saurians in the florist. Yeah, I get it. Can't actually believe we got it to work on the first try though. <laughs> All right, let's get more dinos. Let's see you do this one. Skin durability slows down the cure. Look at the lethality rate here. This is insane. <laughs> Muscle weakness. Also back pain. Uh-oh, full crisis. We are dying of dinosaurs and disease at an alarming rate. Uh, ranging from 5 million to 50 million daily. No cure available. The future of humans is looking dark. Aww. But the future of dinosaurs is looking bright. Really bright. Give them more durability. What is this, hybridization? What? Well, can we make like, what were those? The Indoraptors and uh, Tricera. There's a Triceratops and Stegosaurus combined from the movies. Osteoporosis? Okay. Just bone disease? Come on, give me this. I want the hybridization. Car Carcata Spinotyrannus? What? Titanoclotus? I don't even know what that means. Titanoboa and a quit. Wait, a flying dinosaur? <laughs> that is a boa? Uh, <laughs> I love it. And the world has gotten just dark black now. I mean, that's because everyone's dead. Not everyone. There's still 1.3 billion people alive, but not for much longer. And I'm really not getting any diseases. Uh oh. Total organ failure. Yep, that, that'll kill a person. Utah rapper packs, attacks a lab in Poland. Yeah, we're doing fine. I really just want to bring the, this guy, the Spyro Tyrannus back. Uh-oh, that's a ominous sound. Can I, can I evolve the Spino Tyrannus? Oh, I can. High stamina for swimming, keen sense of smell. We got him. I feel like that's a win scenario. Now the real question is, where are the last people? Oh wow, the cure's at 25%. Good thing there's only 500,000 humans left. I need to know, where are people? Oh, there's just little packs of people everywhere. That's too bad. Dinosaurs haven't infected everyone. Oh, <laughs> nuclear detonation in Central Europe. Nick was detonated in Central Europe, killing off multiple dinosaurs. Also killed a lot of people in that area. Great, you guys are geniuses. Like the entire world is covered with dinos and you just nuke Central Europe. Well done. 
Like, if they're not going to come back. Because, like, Mexico still has their ports open. Oh. Survival groups formed worldwide. Yep. Eradicate human race. All hope is lost. Aww. You won't be alive much longer because you have hematemesis. I'm good at reading words big. Oh, more nukes. I'm also really excited. We have 21 DNA. We can use that to buy things. Oh, and total organ failure is a keystone. Like, that's a huge one. I don't even know what I want to buy next. I feel like zombie dinosaurs because that might actually eradicate the dinosaurs after humans. Militaries fall back because there's only 50 million humans alive still. Oh, now 30 million? Research. Actually, the research is doing fairly well. 44% is solid. I'm surprised it's really going that fast. We have 14 million humans. 13. Sorry, you're placed on watch list. You're a little bit late. It has become unstoppable. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want it to be really slow like this. Just so we get, we get it even more dangerous. Oh, it's at 50%, that's adorable. And I feel like it might be going faster than the world is being infected. Or dying. Uh, is it gonna get close? Wait, my lethality rate is insane. It's 100% lethal. Evolution. Can change your feathers and scales to match your... That sounds so cool. We don't need the spread. I mean, everything is maxed out. I just want zombified dinos. Come on, two more DNA. Two more DNA. Oh, one more DNA. Woo. Accidental bioweapon. Uh, what? Killed all the patients exposed to it. Well done. You've killed the last remaining 17 people on Earth. Woo. Oh, wow. <laughs> the bird that was exposed to the failed experiment was now transmitted to avian. <laughs> it escaped a research lab in Japan. But don't worry, there's still people left in Japan. How? How is there a third of the people? That was the first place it got infected. Uh-oh. But it flew away. Team members are feeling ill, but test results, they don't seem... Okay. <laughs> Instead with unknown pathogen. Probably the dinosaur one. Great. That DYV18 mutated. And we are, we are like seriously having a trouble here. Oh, they've got 32. Yes, zombie dinos. <laughs> Turns dead dinos into zombies. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Zombified dinosaur alert. How terrifying that that be though? Like a zombie T-Rex. I, I am concerned that we might lose this. The research might actually get there. Total brain death symptom without using DNA. My goodness. This thing is so deadly. How are people still alive? That's the real question. I don't think there's much hope for humans anymore. 1 million, 71%. Yeah, they don't have a chance. I need to know where the last person alive is going to be, though. Oh, yeah, we're 400,000. I was concerned. I really was. <laughs> the world is just dark and gloomy now. Italy, Botswana. How are there still people alive in Japan? They've watched way too many monster movies. Like, Godzilla is teaching them how to survive. <laughs> Systematic infections. Seriously, game. Okay, we got 15,000. The majority of the people are from Japan. That's hilarious. Oh, Japan's dead. There's 900 people left. Where are they? Botswana. Congratulations, Botswana. You have, you have successfully won. Also, if you're watching from Botswana, you're awesome. Like, I don't know if anyone really from Botswana watches videos. That's cool. <laughs> 29 people. I should actually check. 29 people in Botswana. I should check my analytics to see oh, who the three last people in the world were. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> dinosaurs take back the world. <laughs> they made humans extinct and brought back some dinosaurs from extinction. With no humans anywhere, dinosaurs have become the dominant species on the planet once more. Also zombies, because that was a thing. Sorry, and flu successfully eliminated all life on Earth. That was a cool scenario. I really enjoyed that one. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Ninjor, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Ritla Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Rao, VC Engineer, Sakars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Toxic Wolf, Eli M, Nitrox, Nitro, Jaden A, Tyler J, Missing Sniper, Fussy Badge, Peyton Plays, Mr. Cripple One, Zane W, Sikander D, Delton C, Red, Skunk Chess, Dub Rules, and Splatter Sex.